The leadership candidates came to Stoke-on-Trent and they brought with them the rain. In this traditionally Labour voting Midlands city that voted Conservative for the first time in 2019, what wasn't there to greet them was much enthusiasm. They're all self-serving, aren't they? They don't do anything for small towns in the north otherwise. You know, where's, where's the powerhouse in the north that they, they promised us? eight years ago, there's, there's nothing here anymore, it's dying. I don't know, everyone makes mistakes, but I feel like when you run a country, you shouldn't make a mistake, so everyone just wants someone who's not gonna make the country fail, or like, fail people like Boris Johnson did. Foreign Secretary Liz Truss and former Chancellor Rishi Sunak face a summer leadership campaign that kicked off in earnest with Monday night's debate. I have not taken the easy road. Right? In saying the things that I'm saying about the challenges facing our economy and what it's going to require to fix them, you know, that doesn't make my life any easier. I'm doing it because I want to be honest with all of you. I'm straightforward, I'm honest, I'm straight talking. I might not be the slickest presenter in the business, but I do what I say I will do. Okay. I've done it in trade, I've done it in the Foreign Office, and I will do it as Prime Minister. Restoring trust, unsurprisingly, was a defining issue. There were areas of agreement on the environment and foreign policy towards China and Russia. The deepest differences, though, were over the economy. Disagreements on whether to lower taxes or control inflation. Your proposals would mean that we get the short-term sugar rush of unfunded borrowed tax cuts, but that would be followed by the crash of the higher prices and higher mortgage rates, and that is Rishi, not something that I want to cause for the highest here. tax rate for 70 years. And that is why Rishi Sunak was seen as an unconservative chancellor, why a poll of conservative members who will decide this race put Liz Truss 24 points ahead. Sunak can only hope that he's done enough to begin to change minds. There were pledges to fulfil Boris Johnson's election promise to level up long-neglected areas in the Midlands and the North, like Stoke-on-Trent. Over successive decades here, they've seen the decline of their steel industry, then coal and ceramics. So you don't expect a sort of rousing welcome here in Stoke for these two candidates trying I to do. sell themselves <laughs> to the electorate? I'd be surprised if they uh, left the city with the tyres still on the cars, to be honest with you. <laughs> In five weeks' time, the promises made by one of these candidates will be put to the test. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Stoke-on-Trent.